You guys have got this idea for the cocktail evenings. Is it turning out the way you want it? Absolutely, yeah. So far we've ran three of them and all three have sold out. People are keen to A, learn about the distillery and B, learn about how to make cocktails at home and find drinks that are approachable that they can create in their living room rather than having to go out all the time. Do you believe it's a sipping vodka or do you believe it's a shot vodka? I think it's both. Which one is, a, is your favorite between the, the vodka and the gin? Um, I like the gin. I, I They're both really good. <laughs> for me, it's the vodka. I'm a gin girl, for sure. The vodka is very smooth, but I'm a gin girl. So the question is, are you going to raise the bar? I'm hoping so. I mean, that's that's the reason they brought me in here, was to uh, bring my cocktail knowledge. So often people just go and they'll order the same cocktail over and over because it's what they know or what they've heard about. And so with a lot of the cocktails that I'm inventing, they've never been seen before. They're using ingredients that I'm making myself to show people. There's a lot of fun out there with the cocktail world. It's not just about the booze, because you can buy booze anywhere. It's really about bringing the community together, and it's also giving something to the people that are here and saying, you know what, this is what we are, this is who we are, and you're promoting some local guys, so that's also nice. And that's kind of the point of these classes, is to raise awareness about, yeah, cocktails, but also what we're doing, all different ingredients, like you mentioned, of local things that we can incorporate into those drinks. Yeah. The cucumber drink is, everything's from Canmar. The syrup, the citrus, the cucumber, the gin. All from town. You should be here, you can't get this anywhere else. Not a bottle store, not a bar, nowhere else. It happens at wildlife. Come for the wildlife, right? That's right.